Hi, today is the lecture number one and we will introduce about what is well test analysis. The well test analysis sometimes is also called the pressure transient analysis. So you should not be confused that whether we are talking about the pressure transient analysis or well test analysis. But the well test analysis that we apply for conventional reservoirs is different than what we apply to the unconventional reservoirs such as shale. So for now what we are talking about, we are talking about conventional sandstone reservoirs and, and we see that how we can apply the well test analysis. First of all, we'll talk about here in this video, we'll talk about what is the purpose of the well test analysis and objective and how we do it. So well test is basically a field test which requires and what we evaluate, we evaluate a larger volume of reservoir than cores and plug. So what we do, we evaluate the near well bore region of the well. What do we get from the well test analysis? permeability, the near well bore permeability, what is the permeability of at in situ conditions, which is very important parameter because permeability is the main parameter that we need in order to estimate the reserves. We need to know if whether we can produce the oil and gas reserves. So, and also about the damage, if there's any damage, the permeability will be reduced nearby zones and so on. The second important uh, factor that we want to know is near well bore conditions of the well. For example, if we have a well and what are the conditions near the well bore at this point. So we want to know near well bore condition whether the well is damaged or undamaged or, or what are the conditions. How long is our reservoir? I mean what are the boundaries of that well? I mean whether it's a one kilometer, it's 1000 meter, 500 meter, what is you can say the radius of you know drainage, drainage radius. So how far the well is draining the oil or gas or whatever. And what is the pressure inside the reservoir at, at, at a particular point. So these are the four main uh, parameters that we receive when we do the well test analysis and so on. We will talk about how we conduct the test in the next slides but for now we, we want to tell you all the well test course whatever kind of test you do we get four parameters. Permeability, near well bore damage such as skin factor, the drainage boundaries and the pressure. Now the point is how, why would, why do we need all these four? Well, the purpose of the well test analysis is to evaluate the reservoir. We want to know what is the reservoir can deliver the oil and gas or not, which depends on the porosity and perme <coughs> permeability. So permeability is required to know whether this reservoir can deliver deliver the oil and gas to the knot or not. It can, can the fluid can flow in from the reservoir to the surface or not. How much is the potential energy? As you know, the pre if the pressure is good, we can get a good amount of oil at the surface. But if there is no pressure, pressure is declined, we cannot. And in order to know the, the total amount of volume, oil, oil volume that we have, we need to know how big is the reservoir, what are its limits. And what are the well bore condition damage or stimulated based on this well test analysis we go for the fracking jobs or stimulation jobs or acidizing jobs. These are for the evaluation purpose. The other part is to manage for example if the pressure is changing over time what we what needs to be done maybe an EUR method maybe we have to apply water flooding maybe we have to apply water alternative gas flooding so we need to know based on these parameter, we it helps us to decide the management of that reservoir. The other part could be the fracking as I said, whether the well is damaged we need to do the work over job, stimulation and so on. Plus the, one of the another uh, important factor that it can tell us whether are we dealing with the dual porosity fractured reservoirs or we have a single porosity model. So it it little bit dis describes the reservoir also also at the same time. So these are the main uh, parameters that we receive. Now let's talk about how this well test is conducted. Well, what we do here, we have a tool, a service company like Schlumberger or other companies who offer the well test service. They come up with, they have their own tools. They bring their tools through the wireline and they run it inside the hole. So this is our well bore here and this is the, the perforations and this is our phase on here, the green one. What we do here, once the sensor is lowered, we shut in the well here. 
So it means we make the queue zero. And uh, or in, in the drawdown test, we allow it to produce normally. This is the, another factor that we can do. And what we do, we record the time versus pressure and time versus Q. Okay, these are the two factors that we we recorded here. So you can see sensor is lower and pressure time versus pressure is recorded, Q versus time is recorded, and well is shut in, Q is equal to zero. Okay, the rise. So here two things are important. If if you are producing the well at a constant production rate, you see the pressure is declining very, very fast. But the moment you shut in, you start stop producing the well the pressure starts to increase. So in well test analysis we have a lot of calculation, mathematical models and correlations and equations and uh, numerical modeling. What we do we analyze this the behavior of flow rate, pressure versus time and we get four parameters such as as we mentioned here permeability, skin factor, drainage reservoir boundary and the initial pressure. These are the four parameters that we receive. Now applications of the well test analysis as I mentioned earlier uh, especially for reservoir engineering and production engineering it is it is very important. It actually answers many 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 uh, good questions. For example is this zone economic Okay, and how large is the reservoir. So during the exploration phase if you do the well test analysis you can know what is the boundary. For example here you can see the boundary is here and here. So what is the distance from the well drainage boundary where the the oil is producing. Okay, the other phone, other requ requirement is does it have enough permeability so the oil can flow? So these are the during the exploration where it can answer these kind of questions. But when we are dealing with the reservoir engineering after we, so what is the reservoir pressure? Because this is important parameter and as you know the crude oil compressibility, the crude oil viscosity, density, bubble point pressure, if it has asphalt in, all of this depends on the pressure and temperatures. So if the pressure, we want to know what is the pressure and based on the pressure, we point out what is the, the average, <coughs> all those parameters and their values. So because of this pressure, as I said, all the fluid properties are changing. So it can help us to estimate the accurate reserves. We can predict the future performance and we can optimize the production because based on the pressure, you select your tubing size, you select your facility at the surface, based on the production that you get, you select the the productivity at the surface and so on. Now after a certain time your well has declined, the production has declined let's say from 2000 psi to, to 1000 psi, uh, 2000 barrels a day to 1000 barrels per day. So it's a 100-50% decline of production. So we need to know whether the well is damaged or not. Well damage means what is the permeability near the well bore because the permeability may be reduced and it could be any reason because of let's say sand production, maybe because of asphaltine, maybe because of clay swelling, we don't know what is the effect, maybe perforations are blocked, so we don't know. But the well test analysis can tell us the skin factor whether how much is the well is damaged. And after you do the fracking job or acidizing job, you can find out how much you know fracturing was efficient or active, effective. Okay. So that's the main purpose of the well test analysis. Okay, now uh, what we get permeability, skin factor, porosity, dual porosity models, and these are the main factors that we receive and so on. So what kind of test we do in the well test analysis? We do the drawdown test and uh, then we have uh, a build up test. Okay, then we have uh, injection test and then we have fall off test and then we have interference test we will talk about them one by one in the next upcoming videos about pulse test build up test drawdown test and so on so in general well test is a very important tool almost all well goes through this kind of well and there are a lot of good jobs uh, for the well test analysis there are two kinds of job one is in the field based job other is the office based job in the field you actually go and run the tool in the office, you basically analyze the data. Once you have the pressure and flow rate data versus time, you go through the software and you use your knowledge and experience and and you analyze the, the well test data at the, at the office. And as I said, the well test is important because once you do the fracturing job, before starting the fracturing job, you do the testing to know the skin factor. 
after you finish your fracking job you again do the weldest analysis to find out whether the this treatment was successful or not that's the one way to use it the other way of using it in the beginning once you have uh, completed the drilled the well you receive you, you reach your target zone and uh, after reaching the target zone uh, your production is coming so now you want to know that what is the potential of the well it means what is the composition of the crude oil you are producing what is the pressure there what is the nearby permeability here so these factors help us to you know uh, to know about the future of the well if the permeability is good the pressure is good you know their skin is there's no skin there or how much is the skin there so it all helps us to identify the future planning for this particular well in the future so that's where the well testing it comes in for the material balance reservoir uh, calculation the reserve estimation you will need well test parameters for the reservoir management for example if you are planning future it, in order to boost the pressure in future using any EOR method or secondary oil recovery methods so you need to conduct the well test analysis to find out you know to decide your your future management reservoir management plan so these are all the reasons you you perform the well test analysis and so on so in the next video we will talk about the pressure buildup test drawdown test and other types of we will introduce them and then from there we will individually go in deeper and we see what kind of calculations we do thank you so much